All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick lesson. And uh, this is based off a discussion that I had. Uh, basically, this person um, <sighs> believes in Islam. And, and what was said was um, there are many truths there are not many truths everybody doesn't have the truth there is wrong there is right everything has a balance all right and the Lord our Lord Yahweh Bashmi our Shah teaches that and I hit you with something truth Okay, one plus one equals two. That's the truth. It doesn't matter how many years it's been. It doesn't matter how many years go by. One plus one is always going to equal to two. All right. It would never come out to be three. That's truth. With that being said, there is only one truth. Just like there's only one power that governs the earth, okay, which is Yahweh, you know, and then through his son, Yahweh Shai, and rightfully so, soon to be, will be the, be the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the children of Israel, starting with the men, okay, and, um, you know, people that saw caught up in these false philosophies and these different religions, you far gone, man, you know, you far gone in you know, you don't even consider truth because you're so rooted into your own false philosophies, man. Now, this person was making mention of how Islam is a way of life, you know. It's a way of life. So, if you need to find yourself and you need to, you need some type of structure toward how to live in the earth, Islam is the way. Alright, now the Bible teaches of nationalities. It teaches us that the Heavenly Father is only for His people, okay? And based on that, their identities in which He had called us. So, oh, and I, and I, and I should say too, the Bible also, so, also so, the Bible also teaches us on how to live our lives, on, on basically uh, uh, on how to on how to. Uh, it's a way of life as well. But it starts with what? Our identity. You know, our identity was taken away from us. And because of our sins, you know, basically the Lord took away his name. He took away our inheritance. So when you try to compare the Quran with the Bible, it don't meet. It don't meet at all. It don't meet at all. All right. My question also, too, was if... You know, if the Quran is the way, then you know, can the Quran tell me of things that's that's gonna come? Can the Quran tell me why my people are in captivity? The Bible teaches us why we are in captivity. The Bible teaches us the way to salvation. Where in the Quran does it speak prophecy? And if you are Islam, Islamic believer, put the sorrow on the comment board. Because I would love to see it. Put the prophecies that's written in the Quran on the comment board. Because we know that the Bible speaks prophecy, man. That's what makes this book, this word of the Most High, different from all the rest. No, the scriptures say, none shall want her mate. You know, I find myself saying this a couple of times in a few videos, man. None shall want her mate. Can no other book mate with the scriptures of the Lord, man? All right. The Bible teaches us our history. It teaches us our identity. It teaches us our beginning. And it also teaches us the very end, you know, which we're actually headed into. But it's the beginning of Jacob's kingdom on earth. Jacob's blessing and the end of Esau. So if you're ever wondering... When we say it's the end of the world, we're saying it's the end of the world of Esau, you know? 
So, uh, what was else being said? There was a few things being said. You know, it, it just, you guys don't have uh, common sense. Oh, he's, you know, he was saying that a woman, this is how they go by. And I know that different, because that's another thing. You know, you got different guys that believe in uh, Allah and being into Islam. They all say something different. You know, and um, he was saying that the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He said the women are wisdom, the men are the knowledge, and the children are the understanding. That that's the, that's not the truth. <laughs> it's not the truth, man. <laughs> the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding comes from the Most High, and that's of His Word, which is the prophecies. All right, understanding the times in which we live in it. The scriptures say, measure thou the time diligently in itself, which is second Ezra, the ninth chapter, you know? So we're gonna see who has the truth when the Lord starts to bring death and destruction upon this earth, when he starts to ignite Jacob's trouble. Because what does the Quran say before the great and dreadful day of the Lord come? All right, this guy, what was said was, he spent $10,000 to go to Mecca and to bow his head and touch the cobblestone. You spent $10,000 to go to Mecca to pick, to pray unto a rock. That's why the Lord said, uh, do not worship idols, man. That's another big difference from the Bible and the Quran. The Quran practiced worshiping idols. The Bible practiced and tell, the Lord tells us not to worship idols. The Bible and the Quran is not the same, man. And a lot of jokers out here, because they don't know the scriptures, they quick to jump into that Islam world because Islam is, you know, it's the majority. You know, Jake, first thing they say, they don't eat pork, you know. Um, uh, it's it's a sort of sort of brotherhood, you know, because it helps men to find their way in life, which is getting into uh, being a business, you know, helping each other. You know, it's few things in there that they do brotherly, but it's also a lot of bullshit too, because a lot of these dudes are cutthroat, man, shiesty. They got a war spirit on them, man. A lot of them do drugs, you know, and then a lot of these so-called black Muslims. Y'all don't even practice what you what you even uh what you into. You don't even know what you actually into. You really just mockingbirds. You just heard this, you hear that, and then you you speak upon it. Well, if you don't know the Bible, I advise you, you know, not to speak against the Bible. When your Quran tells you to pay homage to the Torah, okay. So the Bible is the truth. You know, we're in that time where we ain't debating, you know, I don't have to break my neck to prove it to you. The Lord is dealing with the elect and only the elect is on is going to actually get this word. You know, they're going to actually get the understanding. And matter of fact, that leads me to a, a quick precept. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Now it says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. All right. Because first off, Israel is a people before a place. Jerusalem is a people before a place. Jacob's name. Okay. Which is the father of the, the sons of Jacob. His name was turned to Israel. All right. So the Lord is speaking about the Israelites. You know, he asks also too about more. Okay. The more just means black. And that was just the way. In a time that, you know, they practiced, but they were Israelites. They were Israelites that called themselves Moors. When when we get down to the root of things, which is the scriptures get down into the root of things, you will understand everything that came after when we went, we got kicked out of our land and forgot who we was. You know, all that shit doesn't matter. It's, it's all about where we started, how we were named. The Most High placed his, his name upon us. The Most High have chosen us, so we belong, whether you like it or not, we belong to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh We belong to the Creator. We belong to the 
his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which is our big brother, our savior. We belong to them, okay? And that's the problem that Esau is having because he wants to hold on to us forever. When the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back to redeem us and take us out of the hands of these devils. So if you ever wondering why slavery this, you know, Jake B, you know, why we always had to go to slavery, yo, I was, yo, it was, yo, <laughs> oh man, yo, at the gym today, <laughs> Jake, he lost his mind, one dude, man, I don't want to uh, leave the subject, but for edification's sake, you know, it's the first time, you know, I heard, you know, older Jake, they'd be around and shit, and um, he lost it, man, he got pissed off at the situation from yesterday. That uh that every brother brothers was talking about dealing with um the Edomite woman, Amber Geiger, you know, the one that shot that kid in in the house. Went into the wrong apartment or something like that. I believe she thought it was hers and she killed him and then a year later, which was yesterday, the verdict, she got sentenced to ten years. The brother of the of the murdered the murdered uh black kid, the brother came and hugged her, embraced her, told he forgave her. The father was on the newsstand and said he forgive her. The, the, the judge itself, the black woman, came down and gave her a Bible, spoke encouraging words for her, you know, and it's a damn murderer. All right. He was pissed off. He was pissed off, man. And it was <laughs> he started calling them crackers. Oh man, that shit got crazy, man. But um, but anyway, slack you. I hate that, you know. Start speaking, get excited, then you forget, you lose a little train of thought, but it's okay. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Because on this go around, only the elect is going to get this truth, only the elect is going to be saved. There was plenty of times that we went into captivity, all right, and the Lord delivered us out of it. You know, one of the greatest deliverance to this day. Was the time that we was in Egypt, man And the Lord delivered us out of Egypt That rocked the whole world You know, the Lord speaks of How he's going to do an even greater Deliverance for us, man The so-called blacks, Latinos Native, the Seminole Indians The Hebrew Israelites He's going to do a greater deliverance Than he did uh, in Egypt, man With uh, Moses So the Bible speaks of Salvation, man. The Quran don't speak of salvation. You know, the guy kept, you know, he was, you know, he explained that what? Um, it's a way of life. Well, the Bible is a way of life too, but it also speaks of our inheritance, our true identity. You know, who who we, who we are supposed to worship. You know, it gives us laws to live by to govern our flesh. <laughs> this is why the Bible is the number one selling book. And this is why the Bible is the most talked about every day. This is why Esau, you know, he used the Bible to enslave us. The Bible, when you, um, you know, the Bible is, is everything. This is why everybody wants to know the mysteries. Everybody wants to be the pro. They want to be a messenger of the Lord, you know. But the Lord had chosen certain messages. And uh, another thing, you know, what was said was, you know, why you know the Hebrews out there speaking and teaching because those are the prophets when you see the, the men of the Lord when you see the men out there teaching the scriptures breaking down the word got a reader got a speaker brothers holding posts edifying those are the prophets in Israel you got regular citizens okay at some points we had apostles all right you had the elders then you got the prophets man you know Played everyone played their lot. Then you got just regular citizens, man. Regular Israelites living day by day. When you see the men out there teaching the truth, if they teaching the truth according to the word, you know, um, teaching uh, true prophecies and not false prophecies, those are the prophets of the Lord. Those are the ones that carry the message of the Most High to feed His people, to warn. You know, to uh, warn you for the great tribulation that's coming, Jacob's trouble, to um, to condemn uh, the the heathens and the wicked, to reprove, which is to correct you, you know, before the doors of repentance close. These are the prophets, man. All right, so it says, "What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, 
but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So only the elect is going to receive it from the Lord and the rest of Israel is blinded because the Lord now, you know, which he draw the line because the scriptures say, why should he stricken them anymore? He draw the line. He have now numbered Israel. He numbered two thirds to the sword. He numbered the one third as the elect. That's that's that. The truth is plain, man. All right. But it takes a person, well, it takes the Lord, you know, if the Lord's willing to open up your spirit to receive, man. So that's why I advise, if you don't know the Bible, don't speak against it. All right. It says, verse 8, according as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that, that, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Okay. Even unto this day, the Lord have blinded certain Israelites, two thirds of the Lord's people, because they gotta serve judgment. They gotta get that judgment, man. All right? And David say, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. All right? So two thirds gonna have to know this truth after death by pain, man. In order for them to get this truth, they gotta play out their, their punishment. They gotta get judged, you know? But the elect, they're seeking mercy. They're seeking what? Salvation from the Lord. You know? This is why it's very important. The Bible and the Quran is not the same, man. It's not the same. All right? So, um, I'm going to try to wrap this up. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and 1. This is very important because the Bible teaches us that we need a Savior. And boy, oh boy, we need a Savior, man. We need a Savior. If you say... We don't need a savior. You a goddamn lie, man. We need someone to defend against this devil, against these Edomites, man. And especially for their agenda in which they're going to force and push this mark of the beast upon people here in America. And across the whole world. Which is the RFID microchip, man. When these troubles times, which the Bible called Jacob's trouble, you're going to know, man. You're going to know who has the truth. So it's not many truths. It's only one truth, man. I hit you with something real quick. Another thing, if you're saying there's many truths, you're saying that whatever he believes in, that's his truth. Whatever he believes in, that's his truth. All right, so if the, if you have a guy from an island, which he lives off the island, you have someone that lives in this civilization, this society, living by the laws under Esau, on the island, what if they have incest? What if a father and a daughter it's, okay, it's, it's known for uh, in their tradition that it's okay for them to lay down with each other. You know? Now, if you from this society and you know that that's wrong, you would uh, re you would rebuke them. You would shame them. All right? So how would you would you just say, oh, okay, well, that's your truth, but this our truth. There's not many truths. There's one truth, man. <coughs> you know? And that right there should kills, kills the curiosity of that bullshit, man. Or... You know, expose that that bullshit as philosophy, false philosophy. You know, that's stupid to say that, man. The woman is uh, wisdom, the man is knowledge, and the son is understanding. Get the hell out of here. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding comes of the Most High, man, and that's knowledge and wisdom, uh, which is the scriptures understanding the times in which we live in. It. The scriptures say, "The knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thou times." Meaning it's going to keep you stable Knowing this truth Knowing the name of the Lord Knowing who you are Knowing your enemy You know Having works to back you So that if the Lord look upon you He may show mercy So it says Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and 1 Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness Before the face of such as have afflicted him And made no account for his labors Who have afflicted us That's 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 Right there It's letting you know who afflicted the so-called Negroes and Latinos, man? Who? And made no account for their labors. Who built up America? All right? Who the biggest consumers here? I'll let you answer that. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. This is why you see the prophets out there. Back to that point. You see the men of the Lord out there. Standing bold, teaching the word, all right, telling these Edomites that they're gonna go into slavery for what they have done, that the Lord is gonna cut their kingdom short, 
that he's going to uh, interrupt their enterprise. Okay? It says, When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond that they look for. All right? And this is what nobody is looking for and people don't believe when we speak it. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. That the angels, the strangeness of our salvation is the angels coming to scoop brothers up and deliver them from the, the hellfire, man. From the thermonuclear destruction. Because that's what's coming. So it's, do the Quran teaches that the, the world is, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the Lord is coming back with fire? You see, people, uh, they say that uh, uh, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, they say he was just a regular prophet. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb and a reproach. And that's what these other nations are gonna say, man. Because this is they do have us as a as a proverb, man. You know? And they have us in derision. A trick bag. All right, it says, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. Now, this is according, you know, we know that this is talking about the other nations and Esau, his thoughts upon us. But this is also two thirds of our people that despise this truth. You know, they say, where's our power? You know, where's the creator? You know, you mock, you think that you can mock the Most High. It says, we fools accounting his life madness and his end to be without honor. Don't two thirds of these scoffers believe that, you know, we, we just out there blabbering, you know, being radical, talking out our ass. You know, we're part of a cult. We're brainwashed. You know, we this, we that. Because you don't believe. It says, how is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? You know, because these other nations, they're going to say, well, damn, are you serious? They really are those people? They're really God's people? They're really God's people. The guys that was on the street. Do you believe this? <laughs> they're going to be amazed, man. It says, therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. All right. So then right then and there, you're going to know. That the Lord wasn't for you and that look there was no healing for you because you're wicked man all right it says therefore we have erred from the way of truth what is the truth Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah there's only one truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us the word Yahweh Shah and the son of righteousness rose not upon us it says we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction yea we have gone through deserts where there lay no way, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. And that's the problem with you two-thirds. You despise this truth. You despise this truth. And and uh you believe, you know, in false philosophies, you believe in these religions, you believe in, you know, everyone has to love each other. You should be fair. Well, you should see from that case yesterday that <laughs> you know, the guy in the uh in the in the uh, locker room today, he was um he was saying, look, he was, he said, yo, he said, how come black people always showing, um, showing that, uh, uh, damn, what's the word he used? How come black people always, um, uh, forgot the word he used, man, damn. Um, but he said, how come black people basically always compassion, you know, but we never get no compassion back. I should tell you, man, how many times Esau got to kill Jake dead, dead, uh, how many times Esau got to kill Jake cold blood in uniform? In the street on camera for you to see who your enemy is how many times man as the scriptures say who shall rouse him up you don't know who you are yet you can't see who you are yet oh because the lord blinded you man so it says um we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction which is talking about esau and i'll say twofold to these two-thirds man you guys that's caught up in these religions man you know, plantation slavery doctrine. You caught up into Christianity. You caught up into Islam. You caught up into Buddha, Pentecost, Jehovah's wickedness. It says, 
We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Because if it's not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it is in what? Wickedness and destruction. The Lord said, uh, he that loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So the Lord is not for the world. And he do not hear your prayers, man. Who's blessing you in your prayers for your goodie bags and for your toys is Satan. And that's to keep you blinded from the Lord. All right. The scriptures say it, it hardly for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. Hardly, man. It says, um, therefore, we have er uh, slack you seven verse seven wisdom, Solomon five and seven. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. <laughs> you know, you searching, you seeking, you searching, you searching for the truth. You said as many truths, <laughs> right? It says, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. Why you haven't known it? Because the Lord blinded you, man. And because you're wicked. Because you didn't consider. You despised the truth right before your eyes. You thought the men of the Lord were just some... Some niggas on the street, you know, don't know what they talking about. You heard it before, you know, you know, we speaking ugly, you know, uh, whatever, whatever how you call it, man. You despise the word of the Lord. So the way of the Lord, you have not known it, man. You know, if you don't get this truth now, you're finished, man. You know, so it says, what have pride profit us? What have pride profited us? Or what good have riches and our vaunting brought us? So the riches and what you call, you know, the the material things and your pride, you know, I'm proud and you can't tell me nothing. You know, what have that brought you when a time of distress is coming and anguish of uh, vexation of spirit is coming? You know, what have it brought you? Nothing. Because you did not know the way of the Lord. Maybe I'll tell you the video, video that. They have not known the way of the Lord. So with that, I hope you brothers were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's will for elect. Shalom.